What's up YouTube? My name is Ben and my girlfriend MP is here as well and we are building this... I can't do it like that, I'm not a real vlogger. But anyway, my name is Ben and my girlfriend's MP and we've been building this wooden ship now from the keel upwards with an amazing team of traditional artisanal shipwrights for two and a half years now and we're getting really really close to finishing this boat. In last week's episode we had those boards that we were taking to another shipyard to put some nice edges in so we can install them into the boat. However, we got distracted by finding the boat graveyard, which was super, super interesting. However, in this episode, you're gonna see they're actually done. We're gonna put them in place. On top of that, I'm gonna try and make some really cool handles for those drawers, because I think our boat's quite woody, and I wanna add more woody, funky stuff to it. So those handles are gonna be built with lots of glue, purple heart, and some Brazilian ash. And in my opinion, they turned out to be super cool. On top of those things, we're working on the entire boat at the end of the day, but there's two windows that haven't been placed in the boat yet and we can't wait to have these done so we're gonna get them started as well to not let any more water in. Before heading into this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy it. Like this video because it really supports us a lot with this journey. And it's free as well. These are all routed right now. Uh, don't know if you can see what they look like. It's just to give it a bit of detail so not everything is completely square in the boat. Now we're just gonna go back to the boat, round these edges a little bit more so it's nice and soft to the hand. Then we're gonna install them first. I'm going to drive back. These were all just very square, these bits, and now they've been passed through the planer. And now in place they look way more flush against the walls, I really like it. We weren't sure we were gonna like this idea, but it's very, very cool. I was sure. <laughs> you were. This is door handle, draw handle one, and this is draw handle number two and three. I glued them all together, cut them all and glued them all together yesterday. And now it's time to turn this into two. Two of these. Hi. The perks of having the workshop here. Yeah. What I tried to make. Ah. And it didn't work.
and that's how we do most things here. We try one thing, and in this case it was just a hammer and a chisel, and it kept splitting the wood. And then we come up with the second thing, which is just, for example, the router. And then the third thing is this rigging. So, looks a bit messy now inside. But, I'm gonna go over it with sanding. And I try to make it as deep as possible, so you have a lot of grip. And of course, the purple heart bits in it are keeping it super strong. This purple heart, don't know if you know, it is super, super tough. So yeah, one more to make, and then we can install them in place. I would say that's all three of them made. Of course, they need a little bit of sanding, a lot of sanding, touching up, and then I can varnish them and put them in place. I think Nico has actually, have a look, he's gone over with varnish on two of the cabinet, uh, the drawers already. There we go. I've got text, but uh, yeah, this is very cool. Also the inside, we were gonna paint it, but look how cool it is when it's varnished. If you are wondering what's making us take long to finish this refit, you might think it might be the weather, you might think it's us because we're slow, you might think, I don't know, whatever you might think, but I'm about to tell you the real reason why things take long. And the fault is our VW bus that's always breaking down, so we always lose a soldier to it. Hello, what are you filming here? Nothing to see here. What are you doing? Nothing, because there's nothing wrong with this car. Never, ever. No, I just arrived here and then the clutch pedal wouldn't come back up, so it just means the cable's loose, nothing there. But don't you have a bow to build? I need to have something as a hobby still. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys to the nearest shop that we have close to our boat. Literally, we have to just go down the ladder, walk about 20 meters to where the noise is coming from and I'll show you exactly where, where the shop is. It's our favorite one out of all of them. Here it is. You might have seen where you come up onto the boat with these strangest pieces of wood and this is where they come from. All these boats around us that get built, lifted and put back in the water change some of the hugest planks that we will come across. And it's a shame to let them waste here. I mean, look at the one I'm on. It's absolutely humongous. So yeah, we just come down here, pick out what we need, we measure, cut it out. Look at this one. It's huge. Look at the thickness, width, and uh, until now, they've all been quite small, but I want to show you the biggest scrap piece that we are going to use until now. Like, huge.
comes to work no so what once was a huge I don't know pillar that was just in the scrap pile it came off a boat that wasn't in our shipyard but it was moored here at the concrete pier next to us uh, has just been put through the table saw again and we have ended up with a lot of planks I don't know I think it might be cedar cedar planks for some more drawers in our galley it's so cool how all this wood is being reused. We can't say it enough. What we walked past every day, coming in and out of the shipyard and walking to and from the boat, was just a piece of trash. And now it's gonna become some drawers of our furniture, which came all the way from up in the northeast of Brazil. It's living on. I had no idea what our handles would be and I just thought it'd be cool to stick some pieces together and varnish it. And I think it looks pretty cool. Can't wait to see them in place properly. I forgot to mention that it's a rainy day so nothing is being done on this roof or on the hull or practically anything outside but last time you saw all that cedar wood that was cut out of the scrap was just planks now some of it's back there I'll get you out of the backlight here well first one is already over here being turned into the first well I'm gonna call it the fourth drawer in the kitchen but there's two sets of drawers that we're having in the kitchen. One that you've seen already when you come down the stairs and one's gonna be hidden behind the island. And that's what these are gonna be. The rest of them are still over here.
what that's a certain. That's right. And that's why I love building this boat here. There is so much we can use around this yard. One man's trash is another man's boat. Absolutely so much is happening on this boat right now. We're doing our best to show it to you all and hang in there We've got some really really cool stuff coming like huge pieces of wood being installed again now MP's also been really busy working on the preparing the plywood To be installed in our furniture because plywood rots so fast Which is why we're applying an epoxy based paint to all of it over here You can see this windows in place now, but I'd really like to show you how that is done because it was the last window that we needed still on this boat to prevent water from coming in. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Lots and lots and lots going on in this boat, as well as lots and lots and lots to come. Right now, there's lots of small little furniture stuff, but that's finishing soon. I'm gonna move over to big, cool stuff. As in big, cool stuff, there's two big, cool things over here which need to be worked on. There's a big, cool thing down there that needs to be worked on. And also, there's a big rudder at the back of the boat which is gonna be, have to be lifted. So stay tuned, lifted and installed. So stay tuned to see how that happens. Thank you so much, James, Joseph, Greg, Wiley, Jens, and Duane for giving us a super thanks. Welcome, Martin, to the Patreon crew. And thank you, Roman, GJ, Stanley, Parker and Tyson, and Brenda for supporting us through PayPal. One of these days, we're all gonna go and have to go and grab a drink together. <laughs>